back. Welcome to the Healing to Gentle Day. Hey y'all, hey y'all. I hope you guys can hear me very, very, very well. Hope y'all can see everything as well. We are playing Life is Strange, the book exposure. I am so, 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 so excited. Um, I tried to go live on TikTok playing it, but my computer wasn't really up for the job. I did not want to do it, so I'm playing on my laptop. And yeah, so I decided to record it to YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, enjoy vibing out with me and reacting with me. This is my first time playing the game, first time um about to actually click and get past the screen. Yeah, let's get into it. Let me make sure my uh, audio is good when it comes to like the music part of the game. Like I'd rather hear everything else than um, the music like blasting in my ears. Whatever. But yeah, let's get into it. All right. Now, what is this? Is this like her clothes? Like, what's she gonna wear? <laughs> I wasn't too sure if I wanted that, but it's okay. Chapter one, still like. I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <gasps> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I'm not about to leave before I've gotten a few good photos of this joint. Please gotta look at random stuff when it comes to the story mode games. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. Okay, we're lifting it. <laughs> it's all opening. It looks like it anyway. Wait for it. Go! about descending into the mouth of hell. 
Oh, that's right. It's incredible. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ooh. That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Well, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. Ugh. Oh, you can take a picture. Hold to zoom. Nice. Us to zoom out. Move the camera. happy with that one. I think I like that one. So what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... Lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Oof. Hey, partner in grime. Come check this out. Hurry up. I think this thing is alive and hungry. Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Those guys really get around. I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. What are you smiling about? Nothing. I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> and explain your joking. 
Well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. It looks like a person. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it literally looks like a face. That's actually pretty creepy. Looks like a person that's real sad. Yeah, it looks like a person crying. Looks almost like a face. Mm -hmm. Like a person crying. Like. <laughs> I would never walk into something like this, mad creepy. Press that to be the object. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> Space. Let's go in. Go in I don't go in for angels or demons. <laughs> People are nasty enough all God, I haven't been something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. I remember. Weird weird kid. Fun party though. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Hmm. Ooh, that's a nice picture. Especially with the graffiti in the back. Snow. Yeah, I don't know what's that noise. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet. But I'll know it when I see it. Girl, I don't think we can go this way. Good can. thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. They must have thought something was worth preserving back when they closed this place down. So much for never rearranging a space. Mm -mm, that was dangerous. It's shaking. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted? Right? The loneliest thing in here, or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. 
Not in love with this angle, though. You gonna climb on something? There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Do gumballs have an expiration date? Yes, it's candy. I'll pass. <laughs> Free hug. Ew. Is this seizing the means of production? It's the fine on the wall, man. That's creepy. Let's see quickly view your main objects. I don't want to. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh. Oh, Doug, no. Hmm. Hmm, Doug. My money's on. One half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. Not za. Definitely, that's not appropriate. My free slice of za. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. It does. Yeah? What a bikini. I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What? You mean steal it? Not stealing. Why not? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Oh, hey, my very own Mr. Peanut on meth. Life finds a way. I could never resist a deal. I might want them. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. <laughs> That's funny. Behold, everyone's least favorite part of bowling. For sale, shoe. bowling shoes. Extremely worn. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! <gasps> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. <sighs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... <laughs> hmm, it's a good picture.
Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. No thanks, I value my ankles. Mm -mm. Something sound like it's gonna break. Oh, you okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? What? I said, how are your... What? I Ain't no said... rule that says a carousel horse can't walk. fucking with me, aren't you? I'll keep looking. The gnome smoking weed really pulled the place together. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the right room. I'll be. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Yes, this is the angle I need. Almost gonna happen. I like. I really like the far away. It gives like far away. Like <laughs> wow, ballet service too. This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap! Alright, this video, we are back. I am hoping audio sounds amazing, or at least better. Um, last, you know, clip, I thought the audio was okay, but it was very choppy, very under the watery, and I apologize. Um, I switched headphones, so I'm hoping y'all can hear me 
together with this headphone. And yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, you sure this thing's safe? Nope. nope. I don't think so. Come on, I'm starving. All this loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. Turtle? I miss one. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Matt. Matt? You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. <laughs> so, what are you up to later? If there's a just and loving God, sleep. Today's been a doozy. Ah. Well, sweet dreams. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi! <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Um, well... <laughs> Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on! You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? Yes. What happened? Uh, this is when the big choice that changed the lot happens. Do I be honest, Sean? Whatever lands on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 20. Oh. It's honestly it is. She. died. Yeah. She died. My senior year. Oh. Shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. 
you want to talk about something else? Yes. God, yes. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Obviously, I have my stretch. She's not with her. Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lakeport. I mean, this is a total catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A Safi. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit <laughs> higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? <laughs> okay then. Do a little liquid carrots. Oh. Yep. Now we'll eat a bitty cup. She drank that like. Time to go be normal. Gigantic. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Safi is too excited about my social life. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl. What the bit here is just confusing. Stop messing with other people. <laughs> Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Who just does this? Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. Cares about people's art. Nice. Safi says the bands that play here are small but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. <laughs> I'm so. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Next week's flavor will be... What? Then... Then the girls peanut soup. New England... I can't see what that thing is. New England something. Um... Oh, clam chowder. Ew. I don't want to go peanut soup. I've never been able to say no to a good lagoon. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. How do you do, fellow kids? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like... Bummer. 
Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> She asks her out. I saw what was in your pocket, Reggie. You have no end. Could you at least buy me another beer? Nope. We've had enough today. Can you blame me? We're barely passing the econ. The only classes that aren't a struggle were Max's art seminars. It's just <laughs> not even in my major. Maybe you should switch majors. You're good at photography. You really think so? They let you into a breakfast, didn't they? You've got a great eye, man. Are you shit with money? <laughs> not a great look for an econ major. You're probably right, but that's not gonna help me now. I gotta pass this goddamn class. Hey, what happened to that award you got? Did you go to the ceremony? I did. It was so... I don't know. Fake. Boring. You're the only person I know who'd gripe about getting an award. I don't know. Those sort of hip indie festivals. It's always wall to wall. It was like forever. I was being ugly at one point, and then I didn't care anymore. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. Let's turn this frown right side up. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker, but clearly someone else's take. Ah, undergrads. Have a good time. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? If a man doesn't notice anything to go by, this canvas placement isn't part of the artist's vision. Ah, oh, keep forgetting. No more back to start for me. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. That was a nice photo. Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee all nighter. Amanda recommends Misery Colt, huh? I can work with that. How does she make bartending look so easy? I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. What? What else we gotta look at? Oh, And I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Huh. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to- Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could 
ask her. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. All right, I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being. Busy night. Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Mercury must be in retrograde. Jeez, Reggie. How do you break three glasses in one week? Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Um. Lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Oh! Too old school? Ugh. Cringe worthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Mercury must be in retrograde. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. <laughs> Next time, remember. The class goes on the table. <laughs> oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Mm -mm. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Your family, your recommendations, very old pickup lines. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? I know a great way to burn off the calories in that drink. <laughs> there is something hot about a cute girl using a trashy frat bro line, but it's not gonna get you on the board. So, you're a Misery Cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Uh, yeah, I don't 
No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your rec on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Every time I see in the corner of the cat, the, um, this little, uh, like your consequences thing, I always feel like it's gonna be something bad. Oh, God. <laughs> Those photos on the wall over there, is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. Oh, wow. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? Oh God. I was kinda definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Yeah. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are a total blur. But a man 